Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. Today we are taking a look at the McKenna Hasse or Hasse. I'm not actually sure how that's I think it's Hasse. It's two A's, so it's like Haas, but uh anyway, the McKenna ha uh Hasse um 2021 Mid American Energy Sprint Car Diecast in 164th. Um I believe the nickname was Sassy Hassy, Sassy Hossy. I don't know. Don't ask me. I, I'm not very good at the nickname type of stuff. However, I will say we've got some top quality artwork going on up here. We got our number 55. We got McKenna Hossy. We've got um, you right there at Sassy Hossy 55. 164 scale uh, diecast collectible. And then uh, you can see the little ninja. And um, yeah, 2021 number 55 Mid, -Amer Mid American Energy Company. Um, you go to the back, you got some of the sponsors here, uh, YRA, Autojet, uh, Delta Dental, um, Be The Lead, I don't really know many of these sponsors, I know that one, that's an Iowa favorite, Casey's, because obviously this is a, um, a, a Knoxville regular, so, um, I was able to pick that one up. This is not something I have on the site or anything. I just I know that they did make it, so I decided to pick one up. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping to see if I can find a Brian Brown one. I like to get the local cars. That's kind of cool, so I wanted to pick one up. But let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the car itself. All right, so as we go on and take a look at the car, you can see it right there. We got our number 55 with Delta Dental on the one side. You can see we got B, the lead. We got Auto Jet up on the, up on the front. Um, you can see we got a gold rim on the rear. So it's a black rim on the front and a gold rim on the rear. Uh, you can see again on this side, number 55, we got Casey's and then Delta Dental, be the lead. And then we got our bumper bar back here with the number 55 on the tank. Up here we do have Casey's up on the wing. Uh, and then we've got Delta Dental and you can see the smile um, over the state of Iowa. Um, so you can see that there. What else is up here? What do we got on the nose or on the front wing here? I can't tell. I can't tell which sponsor's on the front wing. Um, let me look on the back. It's the one with the truck. I want to give all the sponsors a shout-out because they're probably all fairly small businesses, or at least, you know, decently small. Um, is that the cup? Is that? Yeah, that might be this one. Uh, God, I don't know. Is it Compass? I think it's this one. Is that Kapetsky? Kapetsky Triax, like, towing maybe right there? It's got to be one of them. But, yeah, anyway, you can see it there. It's, it's, I think that's what it is. Um, but overall, I mean, it is cool just to get, like I said, to get a local car like that, to get the, you know, the, I shouldn't say local, but, you know, the, the Knoxville uh, crowd's a little bit smaller than, obviously, like the World of Outlaws they and stuff. But they do have a real competitive crowd in there yet. So um, it is cool to get that one added in. I'm hoping, as I said, to find a few more of them. Hopefully we, I can find a, a few of them other front runners from Knoxville. Uh, I think that'd be pretty fun, so. Uh, anyway, though, that's really all there is to show on this diecast. A uh, nice ad. It'll go right alongside this more recent ad here. Uh, I did a review on this a while back, but I didn't have one for my collection, so I picked one up again uh, to add it in. So I'll have uh, hopefully a really cool lineup of 164 sprints by the time it's all said and done. But uh, anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the bell, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Um, but other than that, this will wrap it up. Uh, this has been Ace Grace. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next diecast review.